The DRZ 400E is the bike that year after year rots its rivals, and the 2009 is no exception as it comes loaded with high-tech ammunition. First up, the 398cc double overhead cam engine has four huge valves and liquid cooling, so you get a thumper producing great watts of power right off the bottom. A strong delivery that builds right through the mid-range and pretty much enough torque to grunt you up and over anything. You can be confident hitting the roughest of trails as the engine is protected by an aluminium alloy engine guard plate. And getting started is easy as the bike is fitted with a rider-friendly electric engine starter with compact electric starter motor. When on the move, the easy-to-read multi-function digital instrument includes speedometer, odometer, dual trip meters with both addition and subtraction functions, clock and a stopwatch with subtraction capability. The compliant, long-travel front forks feature large 49mm stanchion tubes and the rear suspension features a shallow rear shock with both high and low speed compression adjustment. Maintenance on the trails is a breeze as the air filter on the DRZ400E can be accessed with your bare hands, the grease nipples of the swing arm pivot, shock absorber linkage bearing and the clutch cover can be removed without draining the engine coolant. The Suzuki DRZ400E is a fantastic trail bike and suitable for riders of all sizes. But as one of Suzuki's learner-approved vehicles, this bike is perfect for people just finding their way off-road. The 2009 model is available in Australia now, so contact your local Suzuki dealer for a great deal. For a competitive quote on your comprehensive insurance, contact QBE Insurance, the motorcycle insurance specialists. Time to hear what Belly and Jamie thought. When I first found out that we were going to get the DAZ400, I really didn't expect a lot of it, let me tell you that much. I anticipated it being just a, a trail bike and that's all it really was. In saying that though, I was excited to actually have a ride because most bikes I've been riding have been real power machines. I wasn't too excited when I heard we were going to ride the DAZ400. It's, uh, it's not something that I've been looking forward to riding. It's an old-fashioned bike. It's not quite as good-looking as some of the race bikes of today's era. In saying that, it's uh, it's still not a bad bike to ride. When I first sat on this bike, the thing that I noticed the most is you actually sit on top of the bike. The handlebars are sort of standing there, whereas most of the modern bikes these days, you sit in the bike and you sit with sort of part of the bike. This one, you sit right on top of the bike. Even somebody of my height, I still felt quite tall on this bike. But in saying that, the ground distance is quite short compared to the other bikes, but you sit very high on it. Although it doesn't look like a, you know, an A-grade racing machine, it's very comfortable to ride, which was surprising. The suspension and the power for this bike were quite well balanced. But in saying that, you don't want to hit anything too big. It's going to bottom out, it's going to get a bit nasty, it's going to kick you off and all that sort of stuff. I found it needs handguards is an absolute must. A Kickstarter, again, a must, just as an emergency. And the front tyre, I'm not quite sure what the front tyre is on it, but it's very, very bad to be riding out in these slightly wet and muddy conditions. The front end nearly washed out at least a dozen times. With the conditions that we had today, it's a bit wet, bit rocky, bit slippery. Tyres didn't hold up too well to stopping and turning. But other than that, the bike pulls really well. It doesn't have a lot of power, but it has a lot of usable power. It's not something that's going to shoot you out of a rut and straight up the hill. It'll drive you all the way up the hill. Yeah, look, you're never going to buy one of these and take it to the races and expect to win races. It's not designed for that. It's not going to throw you off the back and mono all over the place. It doesn't rev very quick, which is good for the intermediate and beginner, but it does get you around the track comfortably and safely. It turns quite well for what it is. It's a very comfortable bike to sit on. The seat's comfortable. All the ergos and everything fits in well. It really is a good trail bike. If I was going to buy a bike like this, I would buy it having one thing in mind only, that I'm going to trail bike ride this. I'm going to ride it from one destination to another. The DRZ400 really handles the bush reasonably well. The overall package is quite good. It does need a few things here and there, but it does what it's supposed to do. My overall impression of the DRZ400, two things you change, handlebars and tyres. Other than that, this bike's ready to go trail bike ride. It's time to let the fro go!
Well, the DRZ's turned in a great effort in the wet conditions. Now let's see what it can do in the fro quarter mile. must be crazy, on the back wheel. Who would have believed it? But the real question is, what was he thinking? 